more stations. Okay? In the station, he is the bad guy. Okay? As soon as you see his aggressive momentum coming at you, so more than you chest in or you helmet right in. I want the impact. You guys understand? That the helmet is not just about not getting hit, right? The helmet is also about the impact. Come here, Drew. So if I don't want to get hit, obviously, you know, Drew starts swinging or whatever, I come in with a helmet that helps me from getting hit, right? And it helps me get into clinch range, yes? Yes. But the helmet is also offensive as well as defensive. So when this comes up here and we've got that elbow tip facing forward, that's a spear. That's why we need to drop our weight and move in, right? Bang! Right there. That's what we're looking for. Because this really is going to wind up going to the face anyhow, yes? All right, so we're going to do it to the chest protector. I don't want anybody to do this so hard they hurt the shoulder, but I do want you to get used to that concept of dropping and shooting forward at the same time and making sure those elbow tips are forward. Now, where should my eyes be? Forward. Up. Up, forward, right? Should I be seeing the ground when I do this? No. No, if I look at the ground, that means my head's pointing down, that means I'm taking a, an impact on my neck. I don't want to do that. I want everything forward, okay? Everything forward. Drop, bang, enter. Can we do that? All right, give me four stations. Let's go. Two types of training. Maybe three. I always say this three, three sides of everything, right? But there is that training which is effective but destructive to your body. There is that training which is effective but restorative to your body. If you plan on training your whole life, if you plan on moving and moving healthy your whole life, then you need to train things that are restorative and motions that are restorative to your body. If you only train in ways that are destructive to your body, you have a very limited amount of time you're going to be able to train. Now, I see a lot of guys um, who train a lot of hardcore, you know, super, like, as fight realistic as they can get. Let's really get in there and just destroy, destroy, destroy. And, man, I wouldn't want to mess with those guys. I'm going to tell you right now, those are some brutal killers. You know, like, great, great self-defense experts, right? However, I don't think they're going to be training that way when they're late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I plan on training at all those ages. And I plan on moving well as well as I can at all those ages. And I try to do as much as I can at not developing arthritis, not doing things that cause arthritis. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. So is it important to practice the helmet? Yes. Is it important to practice the helmet on gear? Yes. Is it important to practice it every single solitary day like that all the time? No, destroy yourself doing it, right? You know, you, you know why boxers use boxing gloves? Because when they're hitting that heavy bag over years, you develop arthritis in your hands, right? Because that's just constant impact all the time. I'm actually starting, I used to have a boxing instructor, always used to, always used to have me hit my Muay Thai bag. No gloves, because that's how you learn. That's how you learn how to really put it there. He's right. Uh, now I'm, I'm getting ready to turn 39. I've, this year I'm trying to get real bad problems in this hand. I'm getting harder to hold collie stick. It just breaks my heart, <laughs> you know? So it's so important that you guys not, when you train, not just think about how to train the body, but how to train the body like you want to be training 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. You guys understand that? Yes, sir. I haven't said that. Let's throw each other around now. <laughs> you guys can take the chest protectors off. <laughs>